Good afternoon, everybody. Um, felt led to get on today, and uh, I started doing this video earlier, and it's like, man, I don't want to be negative, but um, it's just getting worse and worse and worse down here, and... Uh, Every day that goes by, just more and more evil crap. Um, it's like a flood right now. It's just out of control and getting worse and worse and worse down here. Um, um, anyway, I want to pray real quick and and uh, just ask God to be here and ask God to be with us and ask God to help me communicate what it is that... Um, I feel like I need to talk about today and um, I hate being a downer I hate hate talking about negative stuff and and you know I'm, I've always been a very optimistic and hopeful guy faith is the saint of the faith is the is uh, 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 the things uh, that are unseen and um, so um, you know, I've always had a lot of faith and, and for good good things and for positive uh, results and outcomes. And and um, I'm just not seeing it. Just not seeing it. Um, God can do whatever he wants and, he, and, and at any time, and I know that, but... Anyway, uh, let's pray real quick, and then we'll kind of get into this. Um, Heavenly Father, Lord, man, you know all things. You're in total control. You got this. You got us. Uh, there's really nothing for us to be worried about. There's really nothing for us to be uh, upset about or, or you know, um, heavy-hearted. Or, But, you know, Lord, we're, we're feeling the load down here. We're feeling the strain. We're feeling the the evil that, um, that you've allowed to just kind of run loose and uh we know that you're restraining it we know that you're holding it back we know that you're still in charge holy spirit holy spirit still got us and got this place and that uh you know it's it's under your rule and and jurisdiction and you have a say over everything and but at the same time lord we know that your all of your word is true and what's happening is nothing that you haven't warned us about uh, that you foretold everybody um, from the beginning uh, that, you know, this was going to happen, this is how it's going to wind up, and this was going to, you know, how it was going to be. And so, Father, we're just praying, Lord, that you encourage us and and strengthen us and help us to persevere in our faith and to stick by you and to overcome uh, the obstacles uh, that we all have to overcome right now. And... Uh, stand fast in our faith and, and, uh, you know, have the courage to, uh, speak out the truth and to stand, uh, firm in, in your, you know, on your word and in your word and in your promises. And, and for us, Lord, to, uh, um, uh, you know, completely and totally rely on you, Lord, to, to sustain us and to strengthen us and to encourage us. And we just pray, Father, that you'd be here today and uh look after all of us father that are that are looking to you and we, we know that you're going to do that but just you know help us lord be encouraged and help us lord be uh motivated and help us father god to to stand uh, uh up and firm for for who you are and um uh what this place down here should be all about and that's you and uh taking care of one another and us caring for one another and and um uh being the people lord that you have called us to be for each other we just pray father god for your blessing on on this message and and help me lord to say what i need to say in jesus precious name i pray amen um yeah it's been it's been a boy
It's been about two minutes on X this morning and <laughs> I about wanted to puke. Uh, what a hideous bunch of, bunch of evil junk. Um, I mean, thank God that Elon bought it and that we can say what we need to, but man, these people are scoffers, um, gnashers of teeth, um, just verbally abusive and I mean the the level of lies and deception and deceit and just it's off the hook it's biblical proportion literally biblical proportion off the hook crazy out of control evil running wild and like I said earlier it's just getting worse and worse and worse and worse. And, and I, I know that God is He's in control, but he, and He's allowing this. He, he's letting it do what He said it was going to do and get worse and worse and worse and worse and worse. And it's just, I don't know what the word, disgusting, repulsive. It's hideous, um, the extreme that that a lot of people are going to, and I mean, what's black is white, and what's white is black. I mean, it's just just like God's word said it was going to be. It, it's just off the hook, and and. Um, you know, and it's it. I'm I'm feeling the load. I'm I'm sweating the load. I'm I'm. It's disheartening. Um, it's a shame. Um, it, it's it's just too bad. I mean, it sucks. Um, but we're having to endure it. We're having to go through it. We're having to put up with it. We're having to listen to people just slap God in the face and and slap what's decent in the face and we're, we're all having to put up with it and and it's nonsense it's it's a slap in the face to us as christians it's a slap in the face to god it's a slap in the face to history the what's good uh, about our country and what was good about our country and who our country used to be and what it used to stand for. And I mean, it sucks. I don't know how to put it. It just flat out sucks that we're having to deal with what we're having to deal with down here. And, um, you know, like I said before, God's warned us that it was going to turn out like this and people were going to be the way they were and how evil was going to be running wild and crazy and, and, um, and, you know, the scoffers and the gnashers of teeth and, um, you know, all the negativity and, and, um, so I, I thought about this and I, and I asked Jesus, I go, why don't you harpazo all these evil people out of here instead of us, kick them out, get them off of here, take them someplace. I don't care where, put them somewhere instead of taking us. <laughs> I like this world that God made. I like this planet he engineered. Um, I, I, I admire his ingenuity and, and uh, I mean, his, his skills are unprecedented. There's nobody that, that is that smart and creative and this awesome to have created what he created down here. And then on top of it, to give us the, his word and Jesus and, and the Holy spirit and everything else that God has blessed this place with, um, you know, it's like, man, we have it made. 
Um, if we just follow along and if we just, you know, refrain from all the evil stuff and just follow him. I mean, what a perfect setup. Um, I, I mean, what a perfect place this place would be uh, without all the evil crap in it. And, and you know, Harpot so them. <laughs> I like what God's given me. I like where God's put me. I, I like what God's done for me during, throughout my entire life. I like what he could possibly do in my future. Um, and, and man, you know, I, I like being able to share that and, and share with others what God shared with me. Um, you know, and so, but, uh, anyway, <laughs> When we're when we're all up there with them and and you know we we see the big picture, uh, you know I, I'm gonna be well. Hey man, I'm okay. I get it now. <laughs> Sorry, I even question your your judgment and your opinion on how things should pan out and how things should go when it does pan out. Um, but uh, yeah, for rough to me, I just get rid of all these evil people and let them be hard parts out and let them go somewhere. <laughs> And, uh, you know, we get on with carrying on our lives like, uh, like God intended and how he designed it. And, um, you know, we love him and worship him and trust him and, and put him first. And then uh, we do the same thing for, for other people in our lives, our family and, and our friends and, and strangers, um, you know, like we should, like we should be doing. But... Um, uh, I, I don't want to be negative on here. This, uh, you know, I, I really enjoy going on YouTube and, and, um, you know, like uh, I'd mentioned Carol Bay before and, and, um, um, uh, there's, there's other folks out there that, uh, I think are doing an outstanding, uh, outstanding job. Uh, Tom Cody over on uh, river watchman channel and, and I mean, there's, there's tons of them and, and it's such a blessing to get on YouTube and, and hear the good news about Christ and the good news about God and the good news about, you know, we're going to be, you know, raptured and we're going to be taken out and, and, you know, and, and I mean, it, it's great, but, uh, I mean, like a lot of people, we're all still down here and we're still dealing with it all. And we're having to watch, you know, evil just run crazy. Um, and, you know, having to deal with people that call themselves Christians, but, man, they've just buried their heads in the sand. And, and they don't want to talk about the rapture. They don't want to talk about what's going on in the world, the evil stuff. They don't want to talk about what's going on politically with our government and and... I mean, they just don't want to discuss any of that. And it's even more sad that if, if you're not one of them, that you're not one of them. And it's like they just focus and concentrate on their own little group and their own little, own little church. And, and they're not open, um, um, to other people they if you're not one of them you're you're not one of them um how how we're reading out of the same bible talking about the same jesus but man they're they don't they're not practicing any of the basic stuff that god calls us to practice and and they're not being the people that god's called them and and told them that you need to be and it's so it's discouraging to see the world out, act that way, but I expect that. But it's it's even worse to watch other Christians and um, you know act that way. It's horrible. But uh, um, you know, I, I was watching Pastor uh, Jack Hibbs and Eric uh, Steichelbeck. Um, Pastor Jack had a podcast a couple of days ago. And those two guys were talking about stuff that people don't talk about and, and a lot of churches won't talk about. And, and you know, the reality of things. And, um, you know, what if God decides to put Donald Trump back as president? Um, how are you going to act? 
everybody going to go back to being, you know, uh, fat, dumb, and happy, and let's go make a bunch of money and take care of me, and I'm going to buy a new boat, and, you know, what color Porsche do I want to get this year, or, you know, man, my Lexus is two years old. What a piece of crap. I need a new one. Um, you know, it, What 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 if God decides to have someone in charge of our country that's going to uphold law and order, that's going to get rid of the crooked, lying, cheating, horrible people that it's just consumed our, our government and our school districts and school boards and state governments, local, I mean, it's just evils everywhere. Um, is that going to stop all this? I, I have no idea, but the, the point that I'm trying to make is, um, you know, what if God doesn't do that? What if God lets these other people that weren't even voted for, weren't even voted on, I can't imagine being a part of a political party that you don't get a say in who they pick to be your president. I, why so many people are just going along with this? I don't know, but, um, you know, what do we, what do we do? Uh, in, in, in either scenario, um, uh, well, we got to do the same thing. Um, keep your head on straight, keep your priorities straight, keep God first. And, and keep doing what we're trying to do here. And, and that's be a good witness and, and be a, a, a spokesperson uh, for God and, and for his word and for the rules and, and um, you know, uh, for his uh, principles and, and his law. And, and um, so, um, you know, we are totally at God's mercy totally at God's mercy right now, totally. And, and a lot of people don't understand what we are facing. And um, I see the writing on the wall and have for years of, of and we, we are so close to becoming another third world communist country dictatorship. And I mean, even, uh, Harris said, I, I saw an interview that last week, within her first 100 days, she's going to try to confiscate our, our, our firearms. First Amendment, you say anything negative about them, they're already doing it in Great Britain. You say anything bad about them, they come after you. You already know the censorship and everything else that's going on with, you know, on this platform and, and other places. And, but man, this, this evil stuff's for real people. And, and a lot of people just don't get what they're, what they're supporting. They don't get what's getting ready to happen. And they don't, they don't get that they're being completely and totally lied to. They're, you know, they're promising, Oh, I'm going to fix the economy and we're going to fix the border and we're going to do this. And we're we're going to lower gas prices and drug prescription prices. And why didn't they do this the last almost four years? Why didn't they take care of any of this crap then? Now they're, now they're promising to do all of that now. I mean, are people just that stupid? Apparently they are. Um, they just, They've abandoned God and God's like, you don't want to listen to me. I won't force it down your throat. You can believe the lie. And, and so it's just, how do you be positive in this? How, how do we, we got to talk about what's going on. We got to be real about what's happening. We got to be truthful about it. And then obviously we need to talk about the strategy to deal with it. And God's very clear and lines it out throughout the Bible of, of the strategy and, and, what we need to do to persevere in our faith and to not get let off and, and, and to not get, um, uh, drug into, uh, this is like a runaway train getting ready to go off the, 
the bridge that's out and and i mean you got to get off this off this train wreck that's getting ready to happen on this planet you got to get off of that if you're on it you, you've got to get off this thing and stand with god and stand for god speak for god and 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 beg him for his protection and and beg him for you know discernment and beg him for um you know what you need in order to not get misled off and not be led astray and 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 so um you know i was thinking earlier today that you know god has called me to deal with a lot of just flat out evil lying cheating thieving disgusting people um before all this stuff ramped up my, my entire life i i mean i remember as a kid having to stand up against bullies against teachers against other people relatives friends and and call them out what you're doing is wrong what you're doing is uh, is evil what you're doing is is sinful what you're doing is not right at all and 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 i've always had to be that guy and and i'm not a tattletale or a snitch or but god's just put me in in certain positions where i had to stand up and say no i'm not participating in this what you're doing is wrong and what you're doing is hurtful and what you're doing is illegal and what you're doing is dishonest and what you're doing is mean and 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 so i mean you know this is before it, it it ramped up and just was off the hook um it's just getting worse and worse and worse and worse and worse down here and um you know in my lifetime i mean 9 11 was a big huge uh uh dark day in a lot of ways where I just knew that God just allowed evil a whole lot more leash. And, and um, you know, what, what happened with uh, the scandemic and, and all of that, I mean, I just knew this is a lie. This, this is planned. This is, this is, and, and the last four years of, of, Joe Biden being the president, I mean, these people aren't stupid. And and what's going on now in the last couple of weeks with Harris, I mean, she was a dipwad three weeks ago, and now they're just acting like she is the goddess, the perfect, you know, uh, you know, nothing was ever messed up about it or wrong about her. Or, I mean, it, it just, it's just so amazing that people could be so bamboozled I, I don't know what else it's the the mass delusion so we're having to deal with it but um you know pastor jack and and eric uh steckelbeck um you know they were talking about this stuff um what do we do if God lets them, lets them win? They get installed. It's going to suck. Um, but what do we, what do we do? We have to keep doing what we're supposed to be doing. Either way, God decides to let our country go. We, we have to stay, we have to act the same. Um, if, if things are good and we get Donald Trump, then we need to be very diligent and very focused and, stay strapped and and with the word and and you know stay on our toes spiritually and confess god and and you know witness to others pray for others hope they get saved hope they're some part of their hearts not totally rotted out where god can help and and change them and and you know uh do for them what he's done for me change my life and make it way better 
Um, and then we have to do the same thing if it's the other way where, where he allows these evil people to stay in power. And I'm, I'm like I was saying earlier, I'm a very optimistic and cups half full guy, but I don't see it happening. I don't, I, I think God's just going to let it ramp up and he's going to release the brakes even more and let the evil one do what he said he's going to let do. And so, um, but man, there's, there's, there's great news that he's coming. It's great news that we're out of here. Um, it's great news that, um, you know, uh, we are, are harpazoed and, and he lets the next major chap chapter of the Bible transpire. Um, so in the meantime, We gotta, we gotta persevere in our faith. We've, we've gotta stick to God, stick to God's word, stick to God's principles, and we're to that point where, um, you know, it may start costing us um, dearly uh, to be able to do that, and um, you know, um, I, I'm, I'm trying to d fulfill with, with what God's asked me to do. And, and that was, he asked me if I <coughs> excuse me, speak for him. And so I'm trying to do that to the best of my ability and with what I have. And, um, and so, um, um, you know, I'm, I'm, I've been busy working on this, on this building and, and, uh, um, here, I'll pan the camera around. That door right behind me is my porch where I normally would sit in video, but I've got uh, a big part of this uh, hanger. Um, uh, well, we're dry right now. We don't have all the roof on, but we're dry. But uh, um, I've got this big door uh, <laughs> that uh, needs to go on here. I I've got some of the uh, hardware that I need for hanging this thing, but um, it's going to be too weak for the weight of the door. So, uh, I, I found a design for a, a very cheap, uh, very, very inefficient or inexpensive, uh, way to put a door. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> on here, but. I need to insulate the door and uh, I've got the metal and I've got my wood framing and I've got my hardware that I need to, to frame the door. And uh, I've got plexiglass to custom make some windows to go in it that match the rest of the house. You can't try to cut down the weight on everything that I could, you know, but the little trolley system that I have is just too, it's too lightweight and uh, the doors are going to, be too heavy uh, to insulate them and put some windows in. So, um, you know, I've got a whole long list of stuff that we're short on. Um, I've got a whole long list of stuff that I've got and uh, that, that the Lord provided. Um, but we're short. We're short on material. Um, I've got a toque on today. It's like 46 degrees and Alaska's letting me know that Hey, buddy, you live in Alaska. And, uh, I mean, we've got a couple more weeks of October. And I'm telling you, September, we need to start putting all this stuff away. Because uh, the Alas the real Alaska is coming. And, and what I mean by that, it's going to be cold. Very cold for a long time. <laughs> so, um, we're praying that God provide us... Uh, more stuff that we need. We, we, you know, um, we're, we're, a, we're pretty watertight, but we're here. I got a little, I don't know if you can see it, but we're getting a little bit of wet up there, uh, because we don't have all the metal roof on and, uh, the same insulation 
four by eight sheets of foam board that I need for my door. Uh, we got to put on this main roof span here uh, underneath the metal to give us some, some insulation up there. But, um, you know, we're short, we're short on material and we're short on, on some stuff, but, uh, um, God's going to provide that when we need it. Um, we we're very blessed though, in that, um, um, you know, we, we bought furniture for, this is going to be the living room. I'm sitting right in the middle of my new living room. Um, that window comes out and then that door goes, uh, in that, in that window so that we can go in and out of the, the main cabin here, out here to our living room. And I've got one of my natural gas, uh, shop heaters sitting here. I've got two more. I was able to buy three of them. Um, but I don't have the black iron pipe that I need to plumb the natural gas into the building. And then, uh, I've got the flexible gas line and I've got a manifold, uh, but I, I, so we're short on black pipe to even get it plumbed into here so I can actually hang the hangers or hang the heaters, but we just have little stuff, man. Um, we've got our light fixtures, we've got switches and plugs and we have electrical. We started running some electrical. Um, you know, I had an electrician come over for a couple of days here couple of months ago and, and, and got us lined out on, on how to get, uh, our electricity in here. And, uh, I mean, we, we're, we've, we've got so much and we're blessed with, with a lot of things, but we don't have everything that we need. Um, not yet. And so, um, um, God knows our needs and he'll provide what we need when we need it. But I really, we want to have home church in here and, and we, we want to, uh, seat everybody. Um, we, we, we set up one of our little tables here, but, uh, out there in the garage in the box, we bought two sofas, full size and, and chairs and end tables and lamps. And so we have enough room to seat probably at least 10 people. If, if not more, I'd like, you know, and, and we want to have home church on Sunday here. We, we want to, I, I love watching Pastor Jack and, and uh, there's a few other uh, folks that are, are, are talking about what's going on and talking about the world and not holding back and, and uh, not watering anything down. And, and um, you know, we meet people all the time that, uh, you know, that I know it's divine connections where, you know, we talk about, man, I really wish we had a church where we can go to and really be able to talk about things freely and, and, you know, without hesitation and we can, I'm dealing with this or I'm dealing with that, or you're, you know, I'm praying for you on this, or, you know, my wife's knees hurting and bothering her. Could you pray, pray for her or, you know, we were really just looking for a place, you know, and, and we haven't been able to find one. These little podunk churches around here, it's like, if you're not one of them, you're not one of them. They don't want anybody from the outside. And it's terrible. It's not how God intended church to be. Um, but, yeah, we want to be able to cook and have lunch and have fellowship and, and, and you know, just... Anyway, that that's, I mean, with me flying, this, this building was an airplane hangar, and um, I didn't fly for fun. Um, it, it's like if I owned a, a, a tractor trailer rig, I don't own a semi truck to drive around on nice pretty days and have fun in. Um, if I owned a tractor trailer, um, you know, semi truck, uh, it's to make money with. And, and so, um, you know, that's what this building was for, it was for my airplane. And so I can make money with an airplane. And, and so, uh, but, but God decided to take me out of that game and looking back now on what he allowed to happen to me and my heart and all that. Um, I'm telling you, I, I would have told everybody off back during the scamdemic 
Um, and I, I, God knew that I wasn't going to be able to keep my mouth shut about all of that. And, uh, so I, I, I think that part of his logic of taking me out of the game, out of the flying game was to protect me. Um, I don't care who you are. I'd have told you exactly what I thought about what was going on and what you could do, uh, with the, with what they wanted you to inject yourself with. But, um, um, God has a reason for everything. So I have a really nice big place to have church now. That's for darn sure. And, um, <laughs> um, so, uh, we're close and, and, um, God has provided exactly what we needed when we needed it on time. And, and, uh, I, I hope that, that we can get this main door up and get the rest of our roof on. And we've got the material, we've got the metal, it's laying over there. It's, I got all that metal laying over there to, but, uh, we've got to put some insulation underneath it. But, uh, um, Anyway, um, Carol Bay had talked about uh, some things also uh, about, you know, we, we monetized our channel about eight months ago. My son and I were talking about it, and I've always had this thing. I don't want to make money off of God, and I've always made my money by, by working hard and, and um under promising and under and over delivering on my work and always going beyond what I'd promised somebody to do and, and went a little extra mile and, and always put a little extra polish on whatever it is I was working on for them, whatever they were paying me to do. And, and so, um, you know, how do you, how do you have that kind of work ethic? and and have those kind of uh standards um as a christian and doing it for money um you know i i when i was a little kid i i, I remember watching jim baker i was like seven years old he was on tv and i told my mom he's full of it he's a liar he's not in this for god he's in it for the money and so I've always had this thing. I don't want to be in ministry to make money. Um, and, and so, um, I'm trying to build a church. I mean, I'm, I'm trying to, I don't want to be in charge. I don't want to be the pastor. I don't want to be the leader. I don't want to be, but somebody has to stand up and do something. Right. I mean, um, so I'm, I'm doing the best that I can with what God's given me. And so far he's provided everything that we needed. And so I'm, I'm hopeful and optimistic that he'll do the same uh, for the rest of getting this building uh, buttoned up. And, and if I have to, then we'll heat it up on Sunday. And uh, uh, if it's not finished and it's not insulated, then we'll, we'll, this is Alaska, man. People have boots and coats and gloves and hats. Then we'll, we'll do what we can to heat this space up and uh, <laughs> have church for, you know, and lunch, and uh, uh, then we run back inside where it is warm. <laughs> so, I don't know. We'll, we'll we'll see what we got to work with when we get there. But uh, anyway, um, things are getting worse and worse and worse down here. And the only thing that we can do is just keep hoping and praying that 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 you know God's will be done, and that everybody that He wants to reach down here now while we're here get get reached and and we have to do everything that we can to stick to our our spiritual guns and our and the word of god to to help him accomplish whatever it is that he's wanting to accomplish and um you know like i'd said before i'm 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 in it full time and i just look at my life every day as is a ministry and as an opportunity uh to deal with things the way that God intended for us to be able to deal with things and to deal with people um, the way that we should and to, and to stick by his principles and stick by his word and and try to be uh, open and honest and sincere about it. 
um, in, in hopes that other people will see him through us. And that's all we can do right now. And um, when he decides to come get us, great. And up until then, help us, Lord, to persevere and to be good examples and to be um, um, good witnesses as to what we've seen you do and, and testify openly um, on, on his behalf. Um, and, and so anyway, um, God bless everybody. And again, if you have prayer and you have, you know, other issues and other things that you want to chat about, um, uh, man, it just warms my heart, uh, to get people asking questions and, to prayer requests. And, and we've met some very, very great, just wonderful people, um, through this channel and, and otherwise, um, and, um, like I said, we're just doing the best we can with what we have. Um, uh, and, and to, uh, obviously give God all the credit for everything that we have and everything that we're doing. And so, um, God bless everybody. And, um, we'll talk to you guys later.